All right, friends, so you've just started offshore fishing. You're saying to yourself, all right, I'm seeing all these brands. I'm seeing Shimano. I'm seeing Pin. Which is the best for me, for my boat? Well, that's exactly what we're gonna talk about in today's video. All right, friends, we are in oceans east of Nags Head today. We've got our main man here, Jimmy Hillsman, and he's in many of our videos because we partner with Oceans East here to bring you the best information on offshore fishing. So let's discuss this, Professor. We got your perspective today too. I'm gonna to of course be the dum-dum like always. When we look at, when we talk about Shimano, when we talk about Penn and somebody is debating them, and in the context of this, by the way, is really just for your offshore trolling videos. In your mind, what do you see as the biggest differences? And Jimmy, we'll come to you after that in terms of what the customers are saying, like the perspectives that you're seeing in terms of what people are using. So your quick impressions of what, what the differences are. Well, the longer I do this, the more I realize that some of these reels have better longevity than others. Yeah, yeah. And that's my main takeaway from these different brands and different models. So when we talk about longevity, and I'm guessing you really see this in terms of what people bring back and what they talk about. What dictates, Jimmy, like if a reel lasts a long time versus not? And I know that sounds like a silly question, but like what, like what should somebody be looking for? So, so in this area, most of my customers are fishing for yellowfin tuna. Yep. So you need a reel where the drag holds up. Right. You know, drag washers, you catch, say, some of these guys at Oregon Fishing Center, they catch a thousand yellowfins in a season which is hard to believe, but I mean, that's, that's in a lot. couple months seasons. So they're catching them every day. And day in and day out, the Tiagra 50, which is this reel right here, okay. the drags are unreal. So the, is that the, the first thing that tends to go is the drag on these reels? Yeah, you have bearings and different things also that right. was time to time, you know, go bad, but pretty much you need to make sure the drag washers and the drags hold up. Yeah. That's gonna be the one thing that really takes, you know, each fish, you know, is really working that drag hard, so. So with the pins, we've we've only got, in that 50 class, and that's really that yellowfin class, right? And it's the most common that, that you see folks using. We've we've only got one option in the in the 50. We've got the, of course, the, the gold finish. But then when we, got, when we look at the Shimano, we've got like a, a lot. Why are there so many more on the, Shim, like the Shimano line there? I'll tell you, Shimano over the last several years, they've really, they have some really good guys working for their company. I mean, they've, you know, you have the Tiernos, you have the Talca, you have, you know, this is the TLD 50, which is a budget reel. And then this is kind of your workhorse uh, Tiagra, which most of the charter guys around here use. They've really stepped up their game in recent years. Um, they kind of have something for everybody, which, which is nice. Okay, so that's the thing is, whereas Penn has less a selection the Shimano we're seeing is is able to to fulfill more needs, I guess, in the marketplace. And, and not taking anything away from Penn, I mean, there's a lot of things that Penn has on their reels that Shimano doesn't have. I mean, you know, they have a 70 size reel that a lot of my guys are starting to use, especially on their long baits. The guy's big eye fishing. Right, um, so great for big eyes and also helpful with the sharks, I would guess. Yep, yep. Which is a problem. Yep, yeah, big yeah. time problem. They're yeah. also great for a down rod too. I have one yes. that I use for a down rod. Yep, and for the stand-up guys, I mean, a lot of my guys in here have a chair on their boat, um, but some guys don't, like a lot of the outboards that come in here, and they love an international because it's a lot lighter than like a Tiagra in the same size. Okay. So a lot of my stand-up guys are going this route or so, the ta or the Talca route, the Talca's light too. Okay, that's so. interesting. And so so depending on if you're standing up, depending on if you're using or wanting to use like a 70. And so is there no 70 in the Shimano line? I've asked them the last probably six or seven years yep. to make one. Um, who knows, it might be in their future. Right. Every year I say something to them right. about it, but um, as of now, not yet. Right. Okay. Not yet. Not yet. We'll see what happens. That's right. We'll see what happens there. Any other, like, as someone is saying, Hey, they come to you because we know you get this a lot. You get, you get somebody that is really ready to start their offshore fishing life, right? Adventure exactly yeah. where I was with the professor three years ago. And he actually walked me through much of this process myself. Right. And they're saying, should I go pin? Should I go Shimano? And they're saying, Jimmy, Give me an answer. Now you don't have to make a choice here on the video, but like, what are some of the other questions you might ask? 
or directions you might give them so as to make the right decision. Well, really, I'll ask them, what are you primarily going to be using it for? And that kind of helps me figure out. I mean, there's things the Talica has that are better than the Tiagra, things the TLD has different. Um, this, the Tiernos right here, that's a great kite fishing reel. So there's things that each of them have that better than the other one. So I ask them basically what they're going to be using it more for. And then that kind of steers me to, and what kind of money they want to spend. I mean, the Talica is the most expensive reel here. Yep. So if money's not an option, you know, there's a lot of great things that this reel has that the other reels don't as far as fast retrieve, smoothness. Man, I mean, she feels like straight butter. Yeah. I mean, no, no, it is. It doesn't. The talc it's, is. It, it's, uh, it's stunning. It's but there's stunning. always a catch. You don't have the line capacity with yep. that reel that you do with the others. That's exactly right. right. So, so, so there's, there's some pluses and minuses yeah. of all. We these always reels, say that too. The catch twenty two with everything. Yeah, yeah, with uh, with everything. All right, so just to just to wrap this up, you got these two lines. You got the pin. You got the Shimano in terms of general like cost across the board. Does, does pin tend to be more or does Shimano tend to be more? And I know like always well, the answer here is it depends. So let's accept, accept that as yeah. you know, reality. But like what tends to be like uh, apples for apples? How's the pricing stack very up similar. for the brands? Okay. Very similar. I mean, the international to the Tiagra and they're very similar reels internally, at basically the exact same cost. So, you know, these two are exactly the same. Uh, the nice thing about Shimano, and I'm not trying to just plug Shimano here, but you know, this reel right here is in the $400 range. And I think internally very, very similar to the International and the Tiagra, but you're saving yourself you know, roughly 300 plus dollars. Yeah. So this is a very good like starting reel for somebody that doesn't have a lot of money to spend. And I think they'll be just as happy as they would with the Tiagra. Internally, it's an unreal uh, yeah. reel. Right. And Great. if you're buying a whole set, you know, a whole set of reels for your whole spread, you know, that's probably the option a lot of guys go because, you know, face it, if you can actually get an extra reel, you know, for the oh, money yeah. that you would spend, you know, getting a spread of the others. You know, in here we have, you know, custom rods and then we have mid-range mid -range price rods and then we have cheaper rods. So, you know, we kind of have it where if you only have, say, a certain amount of money to spend, we can say, okay, well, for you to get the most for your money, maybe start with this and maybe a mid range or lower end rod, and then, you know, kind of maybe work up from there. So there's, there's a lot of options here. You know, we can work with people that are limited on what they have to spend also. Well, it sounds like they're not gonna make a, a mistake. We've, you know, talked about some of the, you know, some of the differences. That 70, I think that's a, that's a great note to make. Professor, as you, as we're wrapping this video up, anything else that, you know, just knowing what you know today versus when you started, I mean, uh, we use pen on speechless. We like pen, but yeah. we also have used uh, some, you know, some of these, some of these other reels too. Yeah, and call me silly, but pen offers this in silver. You know what I <laughs> okay, mean? Okay. Yeah. But I'm real anal about everything matching. Yeah. And yes, you are. That's an anal dude, right? Yeah. There. So you know, I love this reel. If it, if I could get every one of these in silver, that's what I'd have. Right. But there's a special process to make that happen. They used to offer it from the factory. They stopped and now you have to send it to somebody and have it done. It costs you probably an extra hundred bucks a reel to have it, you know, like yeah. that. Yeah, it's, so, it's, it's expensive now. So we have a guy that we send reels to, if people want to anodize, if they're, you know, order a reel from me, hey, I want silver, Tiagra, I send it off. And normally it's four or five weeks and I can get it back, yeah. but it is expensive. And, and that's something nice about Penn also, you know, they have gold and silver and everything, which yeah. which is nice. It does make a difference, especially if you're OCD, yeah. when it comes to yeah. everything matching on your boat. Yeah. Well, obviously we don't have all the answers with this, but hopefully that gives you a sense for some of the differences, some of the pros and cons. Two great lines, Penn and Shimano. And uh, of course, if you like this, make sure you like the video. Make sure you join us here at Oceans East in the Outer Banks, we love these folks. We love Jimmy, we appreciate his help and their expertise. And, you know, the great thing is, is people have these questions, you know, the folks that work here, they actually like to fish. And so I'm, I would say that they can probably get their questions uh, oh yeah. answered. If they have any questions here. at all, our big thing is here, we're not gonna be that t-shirt shop. You know, obviously we have a lot of clothing in here, but we wanna be that shop that when people come in here, you know, I have one guy, George Cecil, that I just hired, and he was on the sea breeze at Oregon Island Fishing Center the last 15 years wow. offshore. Another guy, you know, Chris, that works in here, he was on the sea deucer for almost 20 years at Oregon Island. So 
I want it some to be. Salty people. Oh yeah, I want it to be when it, somebody comes in comes in here and has a real question. If I'm not here to help them, one of those two guys will be here, and they can tell them you know, whatever they need to know about this stuff. And Very he didn't even us. shoot his own horn because how long were you on a boat? Uh, at the fishing center, 16 years. There you go. 16 uh, years. That's so, a lot yeah. of yeah. That's a lot a of got, experience. A lot of experience and a lot yeah. of yellow fins and a lot of real. Well, this was great. Um, hopefully, you enjoyed it. Make sure you like the video. And as always, everyone, stay salty. Thank you.